What is up, everybody? I, I think I may have said in a previous part that I am going to go down in my cave. And as soon as I get down there, I put some torches down. Like, the instant I drop down, then I ride back up the waterfall and I run away again. That was the, that was the idea, but, uh... I'm not feeling lucky enough to survive that. That plan. So, uh... Instead, my next on my to-do list is is improve upon my cave barn, uh, go out into the outer world, and look for sugarcane. And you know I even said I was not trying to destroy the natural Mario world too much, and keeping things as they are? Well, actually, I am going to get rid of the trees that are in fr that are on the top of the hill in my front yard. The a bunch of skeletons swarm around the trees, apparently. And I almost died from from that ambush of four or six skeletons at one time. So yeah, like I barely managed to escape with my life there. So you know what? I my third thing on the list there is I'm going to open a path so that I can escape freely. I was gonna say I was gonna go into my chest and get some more cobble stairs, but turns out I already had some with me. Uh, anything else I needed to take care of? Um. Well, my diorite, which I thought was useless, but I guess there's a recipe. Oh, I got some more iron. That's that's perfect. So I think I'll actually take care of that first. Just taking care of business every day. Now I got that stupid song stuck in my head, even though I'm not hearing it at Albertsons anymore since I decided since I decided to change my schedule. So with that iron, how many ingots do I have in here? Oh, I'm so close to make another block. I have, yeah, let's just separate that. I have two blocks. I need one more block and a few more ingots. In total, I need just five more ingots. And you know what? I think I will actually pick up some ingots on in the outer world too. That's a little side, that's gonna be my side objective though. Let's make the journey off the Mario Island easier. I'm going to make a boat. I know the recipe for it, but I think I would just find it in the shortcut key here. There we go. Alright, I think I'm gonna, ready to get started now. So, first and foremost, before I do anything else, I'm actually gonna open that path up on the mountain area there. And I will make it look neat with my cobble stairs. Maybe I'll make it three wide. Just to be extra sure that I'm gonna have easy access up and down away from the skeletons. And now, make like George Washington and chop some trees. Now this is more like it. A big open space to run to safety. But um, maybe I ought to make the path just a little wider, just, you know, just in case. I'm like, see, I'm playing things extra super duper safe. And you know, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like I'm just violating more people. But uh, really though, it's just every summer it seems like my my luck and my skill ratio with video games are just as just it gets a, it gets so bad at that point I play as terrible as Justin. And then I, uh, then I just cannot even do anything. Then, and for me, that's actually the worst feeling in the, in the world. Next to being lonely. That ought to do it. That's nice and wide open. That, I, that even at my worst, there's no way I could possibly screw this up. Let's actually make it a little bit more neat. And get rid of that. That way it's, yeah. And let's actually make it an actual pathway too. Do I still my do I still have my hoe? I probably don't. Just make this entryway to my to my castle. Make it look nice and clean. Oh, why not? You know what? I think I'll add some of the steps for here as well. Since since I am making a path, then these stairs will actually lead that way up path to the path. I'll put these back like so. And yeah, then I will make that path like connect to this sand path here. Now we are off. 
We're gonna be leaving the Mario Island just temporarily. I'll go as far as I need to in order to hold on. Oh, I'm not quite ready to leave yet. I just realized. I need a bed. Because I'm gonna be gone a long time, I, I believe. So, I, I need to to bring another bed with me. I'm, I'm not gonna fight on that journey. I, I rather sleep, I rather sleep in so the monsters don't get me. So yeah, here's what I'll do with that wood I, that I just got. I'm gonna make myself a new bed and I'm gonna take it with me. I absolutely refuse for Daisy to die. She's my favorite character. I'm not gonna kill her. Oh yeah, I don't need to bring all that iron with me. See, that's like that's like taking somewhat of a risk as well. That iron was was took long and hard to get. I do not want to give it up. Yeah, I'm trying to unload my uh, my inventory a bit so that I have plenty of room to carry new stuff on the way, and we'll make my lime bed and take it with me. Okay, so I got my bed, I got my boat, I've got some pickaxes and axe. Yeah, I should leave my iron pickaxe behind because. I'm planning on digging deep into mine with that. I need I need more wood saved up, so uh Okay, so 64, 64, 64. Okay, now we're ready to head out, finally. See you guys later! Okay, so the first thing I found in the ocean was an egg. A chicken egg in the ocean. Land ho! I think the axe is the quickest way to put the boat away. It's like it looks like I gotta chop the boat in up as it's rocking around, and then yeah, it, it's odd. it's odd how it works. Turtles. How about that? And yeah, these resemble the, the Koopas as well, just like the sheep. Oh, well this is actually a tiny island and not seeing anything. Alright, let's move on from the here. Oh, okay. We found we reached land again pretty quick. That wasn't too far away from where we were. If it seems like I get lost, just remember this. The uh, the Mario statue is X coordinate and Z coordinate zero. The Mario is the very center of, of this whole world. That's easy to find my way back. Now that's another Minecraft update as well, the copper ore. Now what would I really do with copper, honestly? I don't really know or how important it would be, but I guess I'll pick up. I guess I'll pick it up. You never know. Oh wait, yeah, it does unlock some more recipes. Look at those trees. They look exactly like the trees from Maple Tree Way track in Mario Kart Wii. When Kelly and I played this, you click Maple Tree Way. I did? Oh, I did? I didn't know. Oh. <laughs> I remember that funny video still. So it's okay if I chop up some blocks around here. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. Like, I don't really care about the outer world. It's a place I wouldn't visit too often. But, uh,. I'm... Um, I guess I gotta travel a bit further out before I find any sugar cane. And well, I'm positive I will find it, so I will show you guys what it looks like. Oh, no way! I finally... I found some wolves! Too bad I don't have any bones to tame them. Could I take them with me on my boat? I think I can. can only... Sleep at night. All right, I wait a few seconds. There we go. That's all it took. It was a few seconds. All right. I think I will actually take some lava from that island, and that will go towards um, building my trash chute back home. I think I mentioned that in the previous part. I was gonna make a trash chute 
for my items I don't want or don't need. And to do that, I would need lava to incinerate everything, like to take out the trash. Alright, I got my lava. Hey, you know what? If I'm really lucky, if I'm like very, very lucky, I might actually find a sunken ship. And locate a treasure map and some some treasure inside the ship. I doubt I'm gonna I seriously doubt I'm gonna find a sunken ship. Unless, actually, I was reading some Minecraft um, hints, like when you load the, the game. It says that I can actually have a dolphin show me the way to a sunken ship if I feed it some fish. Some uh, salmon, I think? I think it had to be a specific fish. Oh no, no, cod, cod. I had to feed it some cod. No sugar cane, still no sugar cane. Just keep going. I found some iron. I knew I would. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna kind of tuck myself away in this little crevice for protection. And well, how many was that? That was four. Four of them. Okay, I just need one more single piece of of iron ingot. Just one ingot, and then I can make my anvil. With the anvils, I will be able to repair any of my uh, tools and armor. Well, so long as I have more iron ingots to repair with. That's how it works. Yeah, there you are! Hello, come to Papa. That's what the sugar cane, it looks like. It looks like uh, bamboo sticks. Okay, now so I actually travel quite a bit of ways away from my home. It'll take me quite a while to get back. Actually, since I can do this in survival mode, is it okay to... Is this considered cheating then? I actually don't know. Here's my idea. First, I will run up, run up to a safe spot. Oh! Oh, good thing I uh, decided to stop and take this iron. Good, now I have all, everything I need. Can I do this? Teleport me to X, Y, and Z coordinates. X, Y position 65, Z position 0. Boom! I'm not, I'm not suffocating, am I? Ah, gotta wait for, yeah, there's the Mario world. I gotta wait for everything to load. Yep, I'm back home. I'm back home a lot sooner than I would have been. You know, out of curiosity, I think I actually want to take just a, a bit of a further look into my Mario Island. I feel like there are some parts to this, to this island I haven't actually been yet. Like, ever. I'll gonna see what's in store. Yeah, you know what? That, that other village um, close to the Mario statue didn't have any villagers, but what about the people in this village? desert environment and well no this isn't Sarasaland I at least I don't think so uh, well I'll be surprised it doesn't seem like there's any villagers here either why are there ghost towns oh what well actually I guess technically I could have taken those from the very beginning and I would have had some protection like in the very beginning yeah it's like literally ghost town this is not a friendly person you go away you will be gone this isn't Sarasaland Birabudal Kingdom. This isn't St. George, Utah. This isn't Egypt. It's nothing. I, I don't think it's any desert town I, I know of. I don't think I'm gonna find anything else valuable in this wasteland. I think I'll be heading out now. But wait, actually, that is a that is a freaking pyramid there. But what about if there's a castle? Oh, they, they actually changed up this, uh... Seems like they've actually changed up this parkour. 
<laughs> okay. Actually, I want to. I want to stay in here for a little while. It's nice and safe in a little homestead. I can't put the bed down here. What is this? Oh, spiderwebs. They hold up things like that. I didn't even. Huh? I never even thought of that. All right, time to leave the pyramid. I might actually look to see if there is an actual castle. And if there, if there is, then well, maybe then this might actually be Sarasalam. If so, maybe we might just change Daisy's homestead. All right, getting sort of a bird's eye view of this of this desert. And well, oh wait a minute, oh this is, oh I recognize this. This is the dessert desert from New Super Mario Bros. U. See, uh, yeah, I was right. This is not Sarasaland. It was in fact something different. Oh wait, look at this! I found a tomb. And usually, usually these tombs have special items inside, but they are booby trapped. I think I'm. I'm pretty sure I know exactly how to deal with these traps, you see. There's sandstone, some terracotta, there's a pressure plate down there in the middle. If you land on that and set it off, you go boom. And that's not good. Wow, more iron ingots, gold ingots, a saddle! That's a rare find. Saddle, more ingots, more gold, oh yeah! Get gold horse armor, sure. I'll even take that. Bones! I need these. I need these. And I'll throw away my dirt. Okay. Okay, how do we how am I gonna get out of here? Forget that iron ore there. I think I'm just gonna head on out. I might just take the sandstone with me. Here we go. I take the treasure. I'm grabbing my money and I'm running. See, I'm playing as a girl. I'm playing Daisy. Girls are money grubbers. That's why I'm like, oh, there's some treasure. I'll take everything and run. Yeah, see, my, my sister's a bit of a money grubber too. But the thing is, she's not smart enough to know what to do with all that money that she's earning from work and saving up. Yeah, sure, I'm sexist. Women are money grubbers. Yeah, sure. Oh. Say what you will. I think that will be it for this part of my Minecraft episode. So until my next episode, everybody, stay tuned until then. Peace out. <laughs>